We all rally around the president's economic message from last week, which essentially says that there are five important things to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to join the middle class. Create jobs, make sure people can have a decent roof over their head, make sure they can get a good education, make sure they have access to quality, affordable health care, and make sure that they have retirement security for when they finish their working years. And at the end of the day, we have to make sure that it is a, a, a real opportunity in America to grow your business as a small business owner by ensuring that we can have lower taxes for small business owners and incentivize corporations to bring their uh, their revenue, uh, repatriate their revenue, pay taxes uh, more so than many of them are now, lower that corporate tax rate and make investments in manufacturing, making things in America, investing in our infrastructure and creating jobs. We can't engage in my way or the highway politics. While we watch the Republican Party descend into a civil war in which many of their leaders are saying about each other what even Democrats wouldn't say about Republicans. We are focused through President Obama on down to congressional Democrats on making sure that we put forward a policy and talk about it with our constituents during the August recess that it is important to invest in the middle class and give everybody a chance to succeed using those five pillars that President Obama laid out on his first economic speech last week. Education, jobs, retirement security, health care, and making sure that everybody has an opportunity to succeed. That's the bottom line. Uh, what are Republicans supposed to in that? Instead, we're going to take our 40th vote to repeal Obamacare on Friday. We're wasting precious time. And at the end of the day, all the American people want us to do is to work together and ensure that we can reach some common ground to continue to grow this economy. That's what, the Repu what President Obama will continue to push for.